Welcome students, I am Muhammad Naveed and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will learn how to find square root of a non-perfect square by division method. Square root of a number which are not perfect square. For example, 2 is a number which is not perfect square. Similarly, 3 is a number which is not perfect square. We cannot write 4 because 4 is a perfect square which is square of 2. Similarly, 5 is a number which is not perfect square. So, we will learn how to find square root of these number. First, we try this number 2. we have to find square root of this number. Now we find a number whose square is less than or equal to 2. So, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 which is greater than 2. So, we can choose 1 here as our first divisor. 1 into 1, we get 1. Two minus one is one. Now we double our divisor by adding one, and we get two. Now we have to choose a number for this position and and remainder a same number uh, in quotient and in divisor uh, to get close to this number as 1 is less than 2. So, first we put point here and 2 0 here. Now, if we choose uh, 2 here, we get 2 22 2 is our 44 which is less than uh, 100. Uh, we can choose 3 here which is far less than 100. Uh, 4 is a suitable choice. 24 into 4 is 96. So, we get 9 6. After subtracting, we get 4. And then we add 4 to this number plus 4, we get 28. Now, 28 is greater than 4, we put 2 0 here. Now, we choose a number for this place and this place to get close, get a number which is close to 400. So, 28, we have to choose a number here. If we choose 2, uh, so we get a number uh, greater than 400. So, we can choose 1 for both position. 281 into 1 is 281. So, 1 is a suitable choice. 1, 1, we get 281. Now, it has become 10, 10 minus 1 is 9 and 9 minus 8 is 1 and 3 minus 2 is 1, 1, 1, 9. So, in next step, we add 1 to this number uh, plus 1. So, we get 282. Now, we have to choose a number for this position and this position. So, first this number is greater than 119. So, we put 20 here. 11,900. Now, we have to choose a number 282 for this position and this position. So, if we 
choose a number 1 we get 2821 which is far less than 11900 uh, if we get choose if we choose 2 which is far less than again 11900 so 3 for 3 this is again less than this number if we choose 5 uh, 5 twos are 10 this number becomes greater than this number we choose 4 in this position so if we multiply these two numbers 4 4 is 16 6 1 carry 4 2 are 8 1 9 8 4 is 32 2 3 carry 4 2 are 8 3 uh, 4 2 are 8 8 plus 3 11 uh, 4 4 is 16 6 1 carry 4 2 are 8 1 9 8 4 is 32 2 3 carry 4 2 are 8 3 now this uh, number is less than 11900 so we choose a number 4 for this position and we add same number in our quotient and we get 11,296. Now we subtract these two numbers. 10 minus 6 is 4. And 9 minus uh, 9 is 0. And we are left with 8. 8 minus 2 is 6, 6, 0, 4. Uh, we can put 2, 0 here. Now, remember this is never ending process as our square root of 2 is an irrational number. So, if we find square root of to up to three in decimal places so our answer is square root of 2 is 1.414 remember if we have to find square root of 2 up to two decimal places we can terminate it after two steps here. If we have to find square root of 2 up to 4 decimal places, we can repeat one another step. So, square root of 2 up to 3 decimal places is 1.414. We can continue this process and remember this is never ending process as square uh, root of 2 is an irrational number and irrational numbers uh, uh, are the number whose uh, which are non-terminating and uh, non-recurring. Now we choose another number that is 3. We find square root of 3 by long division method. Again, first step is we have to choose a number whose square is less than or equal to 3, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 which is greater than 3. So, first choice is 1, 1 into 1, uh, we get 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, we add 1 to this number and we get now 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, if we choose any number here, if we choose 1, we get 21 uh, and our dividend is 2. So, we have to put point here and 2 0 here. 
remember when we, ever we put point we have to choose uh, we have to put two uh, zero here so now we can choose a number for both these two position if uh, we choose one we get 21 if we choose two two twos are four we get 44 which is four less than 200 so we try uh, two and if we choose 5 here 25 into 5 is 125 if we choose 6 for this position we get 6 6 is 36 3 carry and 6 twos are 12 threes 156 uh, if we choose 7 27 into 7 we get 7 7 is 49 9 4 carry 7 twos are 14 14 plus 4 18 if we choose 8 here and then we will get a number greater than 200 so 7 is a suitable choice we choose 7 here and we get 1 8 9 after subtraction we get 11 now uh, we add 7 to this number 27 plus 7 is 34 as 11 is less than 34 so we put 2 0 here next we have to choose a number for this place and this place now 3 4 3 4 our dividend is 1100 if we choose 3 here 3 3 3 3 is our 9 3 4 is 12 2 1 carry 3 3 is our 9 9 plus 1 10 Uh, which is 1029 if we choose 4 3 4 4 4 4 is 16 6 1 carry 4 4 is 16 1 17 1 carry 3 4 are 12 1 13 so this number is greater than 1100 so we can choose 3 here 343 and 2 3 uh, which is 1029 next step we subtract these two numbers 10 minus 9 is 1 9 minus 2 is 7 0 and if we take 10 minus 1 is 0. so we we get 0 0 so we are left with 71 as uh, next step we will have to add 3 here 3 plus 3 is 6 and we get 346 now 71 is less than 346 so we put 2 0 here now we have to choose a number for this position uh, which is 346 346 we have to choose a number for this position and same number and quotient now we multiply 3 4 6 by a number to get a number closer to 7100 
uh, if we choose 1 we get 3462 if we choose 2 here we get 2 2's are 4 6 2's are 12 2 1 carry 2 4 is 8 1 9 2 3's are 6 6924 which is now 3462 is when multiplied by 2 we get a number which is 6924 now we get a number 10 minus 4 is 6 9 minus 2 is 7 6 minus 6 is 0 so now remember this is also a never ending process as square root of 3 is an irrational number so this is a non terminating and non recurring decimal point so we if we have to find square root of this number on a square root of 3 up to 3 decimal places so our answer would be that is square root of 3 is equal to 1.732 remember we find we found square root of 3 up to 3 decimal places we can find it up to 4 decimal places, 5 decimal places, up to 2 decimal places. So, this is a never ending process you can find its square root up to any decimal places.